that I always need to be right. But you see, that's not true. I don't need to be right. I need to be correct. Oh my god, this is so relatable. Personal story time. I was the oldest in my family of five, and I was taught to cook very young. I came from an Italian household. I made a lot of pasta. When my parents found out that I was using hot water to boil the pasta, they threw the meal I made in the garbage. Because according to them, you're not supposed to use hot water to boil pasta. You use cold water. And if I wasn't going to listen to them, then they weren't going to eat my food. And I had to make the whole meal all over again. But I asked them why. They said they didn't know. It's just what you do, and I just needed to do what they said. But I had the internet, so I looked it up. And there's no reason not to use hot water to boil pasta. It just boils quicker. In really, 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 really old houses with really, 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 really old lead pipes, you may get more lead in the hot water spigot, but that was not something that we had to worry about. In fact, it wasn't even something that they had to worry about when they were kids. So I did all this research and I showed it to them and I ended up getting grounded. Grounded for bullying them with facts. And this happened all the time for a bunch of different things that I was willing to research. And then my parents would always say, I needed to be right. Which is hilarious because it turns out they needed to be right and they weren't willing to do the research to be right. I just wanted to be correct. I wanted my reality to be real. I wanted the facts I know to be factual. And these were the same parents who got upset if I brought home a B or lower. So I wonder where I got that pattern of behavior.